Hey there, Rush fans. This is Mark Benetti alongside you for a very special edition of Rush TV. Today, the Rush made one of the most significant announcements in organization history. And what you're about to see is a recap of this very historic moment filled with an interview with our special guest, as well as reactions from our coaching staff on how monumental and impactful this announcement was in Rush history. We had a mission since day one here to, to put the best program on the ice and the best quality kids off the ice. And I think today with our announcement, we're just gonna keep that trend going. To come in here and put the trust in our organization, Coach Mark and myself, uh, that we're gonna have the opportunity to work with your prospects next year. And hopefully uh, this time next year, possibly in, in two years, we have uh, Rap City Rush that plays for the Arizona Coyotes. But uh, we're very, very grateful for uh, Don to be here today. And, the, the finalization of all this is that uh, for the 2015-16 season, we are an official ECH affiliate of the Arizona Coyotes. Uh, it's an honor and a pleasure to uh, be here. Um, I've uh, never really been out in this, uh, this country, this part of the country, uh, very much. But I was saying to Joe, as soon as I get fired from this job, I'm going to kind of come out and relocate out here. It's, uh, <laughs> You know, I look at this marketplace, and uh, it, it really reminds me a lot of what we have in Arizona. You know, you, you, I, give, I give Joe, the ownership, a lot of credit. You've kind of come into a, a marketplace seven, eight years ago with not probably a great uh, deal of hockey background and, and uh, turn it into what, really one of the model franchises in this league. And what that, the way you do that is by putting on a good product. You have stable ownership, good support from ownership, some great coaching and coaching staff, and winning. Where we are as an organization, we're, we're all about development and youth and uh, investing in our future. Uh, I think this can be a great partnership because we've, you know, we've got a lot of young players that we have to find good coaches, good places to play. Uh, we all want to win. Winning starts uh, at whatever level you play at. Hey there, Rush fans. This is Mark Benetti alongside you for the continuation of our special edition of Rush TV. Well, the gentleman now standing to my right is one of the most highly respected individuals in the NHL, both on and off the ice and in the front office. He was the first gentleman to be named NHL General Manager of the Year back in 2010, and he happens to be the General Manager of the now NHL affiliate of the Rapid City Rush, the Arizona Coyotes, Don Maloney. Don, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon, and and thank you for coming down because I know this is taking time out of a very hectic schedule in an NHL front office. Well, you know what, Mark, hey, we're, we're thrilled. We're thrilled to partner with uh, Rapid City. Uh, this, this franchise uh, in the minor league uh, uh, reputation is second to none. Great fans, great building, great ownership, great coaches. So we're thrilled that uh, we're able to work something out that's hopefully going to be good for all of us. Now, I understand that there were still any, uh, NHL teams that didn't have affiliations, ECHL teams too that didn't have them as well. What ultimately led you and your staff to decide that the Rapid City Rush was the home for Arizona prospects? Well, you know, when we looked around, it really came down to, quite frankly, the coaching. And uh, Joe uh, Joe and his staff, We, we uh, Brad Trillium is a good friend of mine. He's a manager in, in Calgary right now. We really was instrumental in setting up this franchise seven, eight years ago. And uh, when we started to do our research into the different teams that were pursuing us and uh, locations, it came back to coaching for us and development for our players. And uh, Joe's reputation is outstanding out there, as is this franchise so to us it was really a of three or four alternatives this one was by far the uh, best uh, pick for us so for the fans that unfortunately couldn't make it to our event today that may not know exactly how the hierarchy of an affiliation is uh, uh, run or concerned what exactly can you educate the fans about with regards to how this affiliation will work well I, I think the benefit to us we will have anywhere from three to five players here uh, but what we can do for Rapid City is attract players where well, we can sign players in American League contracts with, through our affiliate in Springfield and uh, with the idea that they can move up uh, uh, to Springfield and uh, it's really a, it, it, it can be a great working relationship ultimately what we want to do is have uh, rush players uh, wearing coyote uniforms down the road that would be the ideal uh, situation for us I finally now have an opportunity to talk to both of our coaches on our staff the head coach and the general manager of the Rapid City Rush Joe Ferris and our associate coach, Mark DeSantis. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining me this afternoon. I, I know this has been extremely hectic for both of you, but uh, especially for you, Coach Ferris, I can only imagine the emotion that you're feeling right now that this is all done. Well, we're very proud of, uh, number one, our organization, but we're very proud to be involved with a first-class organization like Arizona. And obviously, Don Maloney, they don't come uh, better than uh, Mr. Maloney. And the, to have him come in and be a part of uh, our special day, and, you know, it's, it's just amazing, and it's great for our fan base. It's great for our city, and, you know, it really legitimizes 
maximizes the hockey program that we have here now in Rapid City. So with that being said, Coach DeSantis, what does that do as far as the roster is concerned, trying to bring in players and then sort of uh, handling contracted players later on? Yeah, well, you know, we actually don't know how many players we're going to get from uh, from Arizona or Springfield yet, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming we're going to have like four or five guys. So, I mean, it just opens the doors for so many avenues for everybody, uh, you know, and it's uh, Rapid City's, a, you know, a place on the map now that everybody knows, and, and to be a part of an NHL team is uh, outstanding. We're very excited for this opportunity. Uh, Coach DeSantis, final question to you. With, with everything that's been said, what is the ultimate expectation for Rush fans and for staff alike when we hit the ice in October with this affiliation? Well, obviously we're going to build off of last year and the great run that we had in the playoffs and uh, you know obviously we were a couple players short from from beating Allen so I think uh, with the uh, filling with Arizona here there might be a couple players there can put us over the edge. With now less than 60 days to go before the preseason starts this historic announcement ramps up the excitement for the upcoming hockey season that much more. Rush Nation we thank you so much for following our coverage of this historic afternoon in Rapid City Rush history and stay tuned on all of our social media platforms and our website for even more exciting announcements as the offseason progresses.